Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn from Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and I am so excited. One of the things that I want to do for 2021 is start venturing outside the world of just stamping. And how can you take stamps and being creative in that whole process outside of just rubber stamps? So we're still going to be offering those, but I want to be able to offer more things here on our YouTube channel as well as in our store. And the first thing that I did was I found this video is from, oh my goodness, a couple of years ago. I had filmed it, meaning to share it. And it is a video of my two pups. Uh, the white one there is Mr. Strider. And there's going to be a little one with darker hair and her name was Evie. And unfortunately both of these puppies have gone on to heaven and you can see what we're doing is we just took some water-based paint and we took some really good cardstock and he was being so good so gentle so sweet now watch we're just gonna take his paw real sweet boom there we go and the best part was is that we got to do this with them together it was a memory and it was so cute because both dogs were like what's going on you know and they were kind of inquisitive about what was going on but super patient. Um, some dogs, oh, sweet Evie. I miss them. Such good pups. So the reason that I share this is not that this craft is anything that is beyond extraordinary or anything like that, but it's a reminder that, you know, you should enjoy people, critters, things in the moment. And what was so nice was that we did this together we ended up framing them and all I did was go buy two frames from the Dollar Tree. So super inexpensive project. I mean, we're talking a couple of bucks, right? And what I did was I went ahead and you see I used the mat, five by seven. And then what I did was I just took a really nice black ink pen and I wrote their names on there. And on the back I wrote the date that we did this. And then when I was all done, I won't show it in this video, but um, when I originally hung them up, they were just the paw, paw prints with the names. And then afterwards, I decided they needed more. And so after each of the pups had passed, I had a black and white photo of them printed off, and I put that in the frame. Because I just, I wanted to see them too. And then over on the other side um, of the paw print, I put a couple of pieces of hair. Not that my house wasn't already still full of their hair even after they passed. I mean, it's already been since October of 2020 for the big white Strider dog. And I still find his hair everywhere. And, uh, but it's just nice to see all of that kind of contained and in one place. It just makes me smile. And the thing I like the most is that they're super streamlined. They're not, you know, like big memorial plaques or anything um, when people come over they see the paw print the black and white and it just kind of looks like little modern art and then they go a little closer and they see the small picture and the little hair and it's just a way to kind of look back and as I was growing up my mom um, she actually did a wall with all of our critters um, so it's kind of heartwarming to go back to my mom's house and see all of the dogs that I grew up with, all of the cats that I grew up with, and they just have their pictures. And that's all my mom did was just their pictures up on the wall. And so we decided this was our version. And there they are, such sweet puppers. Ugh. Too, life goes too fast, I'll tell you. So I highly encourage, if you have the opportunity, go and get just some water-based paint, some little brushes. Um, I would encourage doing it before you're gonna give your dogs a bath. But then go ahead and just hang that up on the wall, save it, share it, you've got it forever. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn, and I am the owner and artist for Jessica Lynn Original Studios. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.